Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I've got the MyBoxer C412 which I call the Monster Charger. This is the first and only charger which supports charging current up to 3 amps in each of its 4 slots at the same time. It also has a USB output port and can work as a power bank but let's start with the unboxing. This is the parcel which I've received. It contains uh, the box with the charger. So let's take it out. Here it is. The box is designed in classic MyBox style and it contains some information about the charger. These sides are empty and on the top side we can see some specifications and the list of supported battery sizes. This device supports uh, lithium-ion batteries from 10340 to 26650 size and nickel batteries from 4A to D size. Here we can see uh, the charger model number I mentioned about the power bank function, 3 amps uh, charging current and total maximum 12 amps and 3 years warranty. On the bottom side we can see mentions about the automatic recognition of battery types, automatic measurement of battery capacity and internal resistance and other features. And here is also a QR code leading to MyBox's site and the type of power adapter which is included. In this case this is a European power adapter but it can come with uh, US or UK type. Let's open the box. Uh, here is the user's manual in English which is printed on a high quality paper. It contains all the necessary information for using the charger. Here is the charger itself in a white bag. and the power adapter. This is a 12 volts 5 amps power adapter made by Shenzhen All Key Technology Company and it comes with an AC cord which is 1 meter long and a DC cord which is 1 meter 20 centimeters long. The C412 has a huge LCD screen and one button for choosing the charging current and switching between channels. Each of its four slots has its own temperature sensor and you can see a metal plate in each slot. This is for better temperature control. When a battery's temperature reaches 60 centigrade, the charger starts reducing the charging current in order to prevent damage to the battery and at 70 centigrade the charger stops charging and displays error on its display. The sides of the charger are empty and on the bottom there are some vents for better airflow and four rubber foot pads. Under these rubber foot pads there are four screws. On the top side there is a USB output port which is rated at 5 volts 1 amp and a DC input port. This charger requires a 12 volt 5 amp power supply. So let's plug in the power. Let's go on. I've prepared batteries of different types and different sizes. Here is a nickel cadmium battery of sub C size. 
an nickel metal hydride battery of AAA size, a lithium ion battery of 2700 size, and a lithium ion battery of 26650 size. Let's plug in the power. As you can see, when there is no battery inserted, the LCD screen shows the model number C412. So let's insert the batteries. If I try to insert a battery in the wrong position, like this, the charger will show error because it has protection against reverse polarity. So let's take it out and insert in the right position. Here we go. On the LCD screen, uh, it displays the channel number, the type of the battery inserted, lithium ion or nickel type, the percentage, the temperature, the time passed, the amount of capacity loaded in, the internal resistance, the charging current and the voltage of the battery. When you insert batteries, the charger automatically starts charging them. We can select the charging current by choosing the right channel by short pressing the button. So I will select the fourth channel and long pressing the button until the charging current is blinking. Let's do it again. There we go. And after that, we need to short press the button until uh, the right charging current appears. For uh, lithium ion batteries, it supports charging current up to 3 amps. And after 3 amps comes uh, the automatically detected best charging current for this battery. The C412 can automatically detect the best current for each battery depending on its characteristics, like internal resistance, uh, voltage, the chemistry, etc. So let's move on to the nickel metal hydride battery and long press the button. For nickel batteries, it supports charging current up to 1 amp. And after one amp, uh, here it is, the automatically detected best current, 0 0.45 amps for this battery. So that's it with the charging. Let's uh, look at the USB output function of this charger. The C412 has a USB output port which means that you can use it as a power bank to uh, charge your devices. To power the USB port, uh, you need to insert a lithium ion battery in the fourth slot. The first three slots can't power uh, the USB output port. If you insert a nickel metal hydride or a nickel cadmium battery to the fourth slot, it won't work because they don't have enough voltage and also uh, the power adapter can't power the USB output port. When the power adapter is connected, the charger goes to the charging mode only. So let's insert a uh, lithium ion battery to the fourth slot. But first of all, let's take out the batteries and disconnect the power supply. As you can see, it displays the channel number, the battery type, the temperature, the USB output current, and USB in the corner of the screen. When the C412 is in power bank mode, and you insert another battery in one of the first three slots, it will display uh, the channel number, the battery type, battery's temperature, uh, the voltage and the percentage of that battery, but it won't charge the battery. It's a very useful feature which allows you to check the state of your batteries without connecting the power supply. The USB output port is rated at 1 amp 
but I've tested it to find the maximum which it can give out and uh, I've used the special equipment an electronic load and as you can see on the graph uh, it can provide up to 1.5 amps continuously this is a very very good result I think this monster has activation function for over discharged batteries I have a lithium ion battery uh, which was discharged down to 0 0.06 volts so it was almost dead and I could revive it using the C412 how does it work? you just insert the battery and wait a couple of hours uh, while the charger tries to revive it by applying trickle current and raising the voltage when the voltage is raised to a normal level you can take out the battery so it's very easy to use, simple and very useful for those who have dead batteries the main advantage of the C412 is that it can deliver current up to 3 amps to all 4 slots at the same time the second is the wide choice of charging current you can select any value from 0.1 to 3 amps for each battery the fourth is that all four slots are independent and you can charge different types of batteries at the same time the fourth advantage is that it has a USB output port and can work as a power bank the fifth is that it has a zero volt uh, battery activation function the sixth is that it can display the charging capacity of the battery which is a very useful function it has also a couple of disadvantages and I'd like to mention the lack of discharging function I think uh, it's a very serious disadvantage and the second is that the USB output port can't be powered by the power adapter and the third and last uh, disadvantage is that it doesn't support lithium ferrophosphate and lithium ion 4.45 volt batteries that's all for today, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video, bye bye.